Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh Do it. Okay, hit it. Hit it. Oh, it's recording. Oh, it's recording. It. It's recording. <laughs> no, I don't care. Good planning, young disciple. Huh? I am from Rome. Welcome to our math class. We are going to invent statistics. So, as statistics involve numbers, my name is the Roman numeral. It was uh, yeah. Wow. I had that. I did the same thing with the costume lady. It was oh, cool. Really? Yeah. Oh, I was nice. like the Roman numeral, and I, exactly <laughs> both of us. Ah! <laughs> 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 it was awesome. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, yes, young student. Speak your mind. You said the secret word. Ah! Quick, before I fall on my sword, I want to know what you have to say. Are you going to employ yourself a costume lady? No, I just yeah, rented a costume. <laughs> Get a costume. I just rented, but that would be cool. <laughs> Welcome, costume lady. Follow me everywhere I go. <laughs> just, like, coming around. I know you are only X V I I I years old, but that does not matter. <laughs> you are of age to assist my costume needs. I think I got it. It rides up. Did you know Roman numeral costumes ride up? Uh, like, yeah. uh, Down. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just elastic. Okay. <laughs> so the pen is mightier than the sword. Shall we begin our lesson? Yeah. Yes. Shall we begin our lesson? Yes. Yay, math. Yay, math. Delay is fine. I will not behead you yet. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> the pen is mightier than the sword. This is five dollars from the costume store. So, <laughs> plastic. <laughs> This is the pen. Okay, I'm gonna go in and out of character because I may not be able to hold it and honor the education, or I might slip into other characters, so be ready. Okay. So, so today, today we're, indeed, <laughs> meet my millionaires. Okay. Okay, where was I? Okay. okay. We're gonna talk about Z-scores today. Everything we need to know about the introduction and the exploration of z-scores. Okay, we're going to define it and everything. So we've done the normal curve before. All right. Um, we have a mean of 1,500 and a standard deviation of 300 for SAT scores. So could we please create a normal curve with our percentages given this data? All right. So feel free to do it right on your papers as well. I shall start in black and let's do it together. All right. So here we are. There's my normal curve. Although this moment is far from normal. <laughs> and then we'll put in data. So what goes in the middle of the normal curve? 1,500. 1,500. Okay, and then we jump by how many increments? 300. 300. <laughs> 300. <laughs> 300. Spartans! <laughs> Tonight we died in hell! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So we're going to go 300, so that's an increment of 1,800. Another increment? 21. 21. Anyone? Everyone? Last one? 24. 24. Euler? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> 300. 300! Uh, 12. 12, very good. Just put them down. Nine. Nine. Jumping by standard deviations every time for the normal curve and 600 here. So this is an estimation. Clearly, we're using easier numbers so that we can understand. What are our percentages here and here while we're at it? 34. 34 each side. So put those in. 34% here and here. Next percent? 13.5. 13.5. Then next is 2.4, and then the next is 0.01. So leave it here. Oops. No, it's just 0.1. It's 0.1 percent. Right, 0.1 percent. Yeah, I keep thinking in terms of decimals. Right, yeah, that's a challenge to go from back and forth. All right, so there we have them. Okay, there's our normal curve. And now let's get right into it with our discussion. Let's go purple. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> I am a millionaire, Roman! Fabulous! I 
have a million dollars. That's, uh, I don't know, the thing for a million, right? I, um, zero, zero, it's M, zero. It's actually M with a line over it. M with the line over it, thank you. Let's meet my M with the line over it heirs. <laughs> okay, let's go down. You basically just add, an, add three zeros, because M is a thousands. So define, define a Z score, please, anyone. Define Z score. So you're doing great, I'm gonna mix it up, okay? Yeah, yeah. I'll come back to you, yes sir. One increment from the mean. So just one increment? Or the from increment from the mean. What do you mean by the increment? You're almost there? The, the increment? The amount of increments? Yes. Very good. Can we add to the conversation? The number of standard deviations away from the mean. Right. The number of standard deviations from the mean. Very good. So let's go ahead and mark Z score right here. So at 1500, how many standard deviations Zero. from the mean are we? Zero. Do we have a question, please? Are we not putting the point one? Oh, we can put the point one, sure. Yeah. So it adds up to 100? Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is a z-score of zero. Zero standard deviations from the mean. Z-score? One. One. One, two, and finally? Three. Z-score of left? Negative, Negative one. one. Very good, class. Next? Negative two. And? Negative three. three. Okay, very good. Now let's go ahead and implement some z-scores for SAT scores, okay? The z-score is actually going to be very helpful to determine other data. So it really is a, an intuitive way to know how far from the mean we are. How far from the mean we are. The higher, or in fact lower, the, the z-score, the further from the mean we are. So that's why we use it, among other reasons. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, z-score of 1,500, tell me again. Zero. 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 So we have the z-scores already marked, so maybe we can explore some new ones. Let's go ahead and do 1650. Who can raise their hand and say 1650? Yes, in the front, please. Um, can I say? Yes, you can. Point twenty. You're in the neighborhood. Or like a four. <laughs> That's the same number. Still in the I same know. neighborhood. <laughs> I know. Roman numerals knows his numbers. I did know you, <laughs> because I said a decimal. So where is 1650 class? Where? I over I I. In the middle of zero. The middle. Oh, okay. I over I I. I didn't know that. It's right in the middle, right? Because how far is the distance from zero to one in standard deviations? 300. 300. How far is 1650 away from 500? 150. How many standard deviations is 150? 0.5. Half. 0.5. Very good. We're learning. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. We're not going to do any sort of executions. We're just here to learn, yeah. right? I don't know why they do executions. It's very mean. <laughs> it's wrong to do that. <laughs> it's very mean. It's mean. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> very low. Now we're like river dance. <laughs> I, oh my god, that sword just hit you in the... No, it was the desk. Okay. Don't worry, it's very soft. You should tie the sword <laughs> to a pen. Yeah. So that you can that attack you can my problem. That way you can use the uh, better weapon. Yeah. Brute force. <laughs> brute force method. Good job. Remembering from man. <laughs> Namaste. Wow, I'm bringing in such character right now. <laughs> I can't keep up the strong. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and go. I know. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so let's go halfway between here. So what's halfway between 900 and 1200? Negative 1. 1. Okay, negative 1.5. Negative 1.5. What score is that? I'm fine with that. What score is that? Um, 1,050. 1,050. We could do two more. Uh, so volunteer to give us a score and its Z score, or maybe one of the uh, one or the other. It's okay. okay. Feel free. Don't be afraid to get it wrong. You know, if you I've gotten it wrong, a lot of people get it wrong. We learn through the process, correct? Sure. Didn't we learn from oh, the point yeah. two five moment? Remember, yeah. we had a thing, and everyone's like, "Oh, that was cool," and now we can share it with the world. Great. <laughs> You're letting it all in. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yes sir. 1965 with a Z score of 0.775. 19, I'll put it down, 1965. So 1965 is where in relation to this? Oh wait, my bad, I'm well over. Okay. <laughs> I was doing it wrong. No problem, that's why we have the eraser built into my handy dandy smarty. Mm -hmm. The handy dandy notebook. Okay, let's oh, try wow. someone else maybe. Oh, yes. 2000. 
uh, would be two thousand. Okay. A Z score of one point six six. Cool. So two thousand is how far away between these two? It's two thirds. Two thirds. Very good. So two thirds of a Z score would be point six six. One point six six. Last one. Any questions about these? About how they work? Why they work? Wait, how do yes, you please. I just don't really get how. Like, Thank you for asking. I don't get how you can get. Very good. Do you understand? I'm glad you asked. Do you understand that every time we jump by a standard deviation, it's one z score? Yeah. Yes? So then, how do you get the six six? Okay. And that's actually sort of a challenging mental math that they did. Okay? Yeah. The way it works is do you agree that 2000 is between one and two in terms of z score? Yeah. So, so far, so good. So, if it's between one and two, then we ask. Where is 2,000 in relation to 1,800 and 2,100? Halfway, more than halfway, less than halfway? More than halfway. More than halfway, very good. In fact, it's what fraction of the way? Two-thirds. Is it safe to say it's two-thirds away? Yeah. So it's like 100, 200, 300, it's 200 away. Uh -huh. So two-thirds. Oh, so then it's 1.66, the decimal. Very good. Yes, two-thirds two of 1.66, very good. But you know what we can do? I'm glad that, yeah, the teachers live for that moment. I saw it like you're, ah, it's like, oh, like you're being like in the Caesar's Palace, <laughs> Vegas. Uh, uh, <laughs> Caesar's Palace. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that was you're intentional. You're tired today. The meme wasn't intentional. You helped me with that because you're nice. That's also intentional. <laughs> Caesar's Palace, intentional. And so is that learning. Rock and roll. So that's basically the idea. But what if, let's step outside for you here. How is nice of you? Because it's opposite of me. Nice? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone is elevated. So what if our SAT score is more obscure, making our Z score more <laughs> difficult to find? Does anyone have maybe a suggestion for how to calculate Z score for, <laughs> let's say, let's go back up here and take a look at it, maybe 18... Oh, 05. For example, 1805. So we agree it's between what and what Z score? One and two. One and I two. No, I think it's 1.83. Well, do we agree that 1805 is also closer oh, to never one? Mind. My bad. I'm so I'm glad you're guessing. I keep on, I keep on like I'm doing this method where I'm trying to reverse engineer it. That's exactly what I'm asking the class to do. What? We're saying if 1805 is closer to one, it's probably one point maybe zero something. 1.08. Maybe 1.08. You're in the neighborhood, right? <laughs> is there a way? Is there a way to calculate this with accuracy? Yeah, there's yeah. probably a formula. There is a formula. Do you have? Do you have an can intuit the formula before I put it on the board? What you, what you can do is you can uh, put the number away from the z score to the left. Put yeah. it over the standard deviation. Very yeah. good. That's right. Oh. In fact, it's the number away from the mean. Because aren't we dealing with 1805? Mm, yeah, yeah. So it's how far is 1805 from 1500? Yes. So here is the formula for z-score. That was very impressive. Z-score equals data, whatever the value is, minus mean over standard deviation. The books have a certain formula. So let's actually call it x is a data item. Okay. Remember from our calculators, x bar, what that stands for? Mean. The mean. It's the mean, actually, of our sample. Over x minus x bar over sx. Right, of the standard deviation. We can say sx, the standard deviation of our data. So let's go ahead and do what our friend in the front here said is going I, to be. Then I did it in the wrong order. I was dividing first. You divided first. Yes. Fair enough. So what is the data item that we're talking about now? What score are we referring to? 1805. 1805. So we're saying 1805 is how far from what value? The mean. 1500. Oh. Divided by standard deviation is what in this case? 300. 300. And we get a z-score of what? 1.016. 1.02, 1 let's say. And that's it. And that's it. That's it. So now. <laughs> we'll be able to calculate the z-score of any data item. 
What is the data that we're referring to in this case? The SAT. The SAT score itself. Very good. The SAT score itself. So now we can throw out random SAT scores and get any Z score. Let's do it. Go, give us one, please. Uh, you want to see the chart? There you go. Give us one. 2230. 2230? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. 2230. Let's do it. it looks like you have. <laughs> 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 Just be yourself. <laughs> 22. Just do it. 30. Nike. Um, remind me, SAT scores do work in these tens, right? Yeah. They work in tens, so that's cool. It's realistic. So 2230, let's go ahead and calculate that. All right. So now we have. 2230 minus what? 1500. Over what? 300. And we get what? 2.4. 2.4 what? 3. 2.43. Safe. 2.43. And as statistics students, statistics students, <laughs> don't disturb. If you look at a z score of 1 and a z score of 2, what does that tell you about the data? The higher the z score is, the less, um, the, higher the, higher the, the farther away it is from the mean. The farther away it is from the mean, the higher your grade is. And the more unusual case, it becomes. The more unusual it becomes, very good. How about something very negative? Is that also unusual? Yes. Yes, further away from the mean. And this, that's why this normal curve represents the population so well. If we, if we agree that the majority of the population is somewhere around average, then you have less and less people that do very well. Also, less and less people that do very poorly. Same goes with many different things, heights, weights, incomes, things like that. Yes? On, um, we, like on a test, or we you ever asked uh, what percent of the population has and then like the, the really crazy score? Like Later. What, you will? Yeah, good question. So you'd have to get it. So that's a very good question. You're, you're thinking like ahead. And so the idea is, yes, if I said what is the percentile of this score, I would recommend getting a z-score first, and then I'll teach you how to get percentage. So that's really good. Only the precise. Percentile, yeah. Yeah, where do you stand? So what percentile is 2.43? We can assume 2.43. <clears throat> it's in the 2.4. But you need a correct, oh, would you just say like? There is a way. Can you tell me roughly what the percentile is? For a z-score of 2.43, roughly, roughly? How about in the back? What do you say, sir? Can you tell us? 2.43. Yeah, what percentile is this? High or low? Um, it's high. It's very high. Uh, very high. 80s? 90s? 90s. 90s. Great decade. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, how do you know 90s? You're right. How do you know 90s? Because it's past all of it. It's past all, I love it, yeah, you did the hand motion. Past all this, this is pleather, don't worry. Yes? Um, I mean, if you add them up, it's like roughly 99.9. Yeah, it's a lot, so it's a lot, yeah, 50, 84, um, 97.5, and then you have, yeah, you're into yeah. the high numbers. Probably 90s. around like 97 or so. Or 98. It's got Probably around 98. 98. Yes, it is. And we'll talk about that later, but that's good. You, you're intuiting the, uh, the right way to do it. You okay with us here? You okay? Yeah, it's a, it's a lot, I know. Leather makes me just zone out too. I wear this at home and, you know, I'm watching TV and like... <laughs> I don't really wear it at home all the time, don't worry. Okay. So now, there is a formula for Z-score, you can calculate it. So as promised though, so we're going to introduce you to programming how to get the Z-score given any data item. Now this is very exciting because you can use this on your calculators for the tests and stuff like that, so you don't have to remember formulas or anything. As long as we plug it into the program correctly, you can use it for the rest of the year, all right? Maybe when you take it in college. So let's go ahead and open our calculator, and we're gonna hit program. Okay, seriously, give yourselves a hand. That was really good. Good job. All right, thank you.